only if has to be one of the most confusing gaming experiences I've ever had. But I think I've finally started to understand why. A little background knowledge on the game is that it was released in 2014 to moderate success. The biggest YouTuber at the time, PewDiePie, made a video on it, but that video seemed to even underperform for a person of his subscriber count at the time, which means even fewer people currently know about it. This game has the most unpredictable narrative of any media I've watched, and on their own, they all seem to be great short games, but together, they resemble more of an absolute disaster. Or at least, that's what I assume. I can't quite understand if this game is good or not. The voice acting, the score, and the graphics are pretty great even by today's standards, being 10 years old. But yet, the narrative is truly so strange. Before I get into the weird part of the game, I think I owe you a quick background of the narrative. Wow. <laughs> I never thought the party would be this big. The beginning of the game has you walking into a house party with some very copyrighted music playing. Before you see if the party is actually valid or not, you wake up in a random bed and explore this unfamiliar area. Where am I? You follow this random blue orb to a room and fall right into a man screaming at the top of his lungs to you. But if you want to get out of here alive, you gotta trust me, okay? Okay. Let's start with you moving over to that mirror. Wait, wait mirror? Wait, where? Start looking for it! You blithering idiot! Skipping along a bit, Vinny reveals how he knows Anthony's name and the name of his love interest, Sam, while being a complete stranger to us, at this point, raising the question of who this person is. We are told to pick between pawns on a chessboard. One pawn decides the ending you will get, but we will only begin with the white pawn ending, which is the main ending. What is life when it sits still in four pieces? Stay here and eternally compliment this still life, or go out with a burning boom. What kind of boom? It all depends on the death of a pawn. The first 20 minutes or so of the game are easy to follow, but once we get to the inception part of the game, this is the exact spot where I could pinpoint where everything just gets super weird. And I'm gonna do some magical shit! Fucking boom! Here's a sneak peek to your next trial! Vinny! Vinny, you there? Sam? Is that you? Wait, who is this? It's me. It's, it's me, Anthony. You, you invited me to your party yesterday. Anthony? Oh, yeah. Hey. Sam, your dad's been driving me crazy. You met my dad? Yeah. Stop it! Why? Because my dad runs a business near the countryside. You drive me crazy. But you aren't her dad, aren't you? Then who is her father? I don't know. Google it if you survive. You're forced to drink a mysterious liquid by Vinny, and the room begins to turn and flip a complete 180 degrees. <laughs> What now? Hang on, just give me a sec. One second. Hey, hey Anthony, have you watched that movie, uh, Inception? Do you remember the whole idea about planting an idea and, uh, you know, the wall going topsy-turvy? Do, do you recall that? You jump into the dark fog that you were begged not to go into by Vinny and are instantly transported to that one park from Madagascar. Why'd you do it? Cause you've done a lot to me. A lot of things have been misunderstood. I'm gonna be frank with you, Anthony. I've been trying to get through to you. Through to you. Through to you. This whole park segment is the root of most of my confusion. After aimlessly walking around the park for a while, you hear a man's voice saying yes. Thank you for calling. I will. As soon as I find her, I'll make sure she returns back to class. As soon as I find her, I'll make sure she returns to class. This is actually one of the parts of the game that I genuinely love, and I'll explain why very soon. Just keep that moment in the back of your head. We are asked things on a black screen with white text. At some point in this interaction, the text says, I am merely a clock, yet you gave me empathy. We see a paper with the words, trash talking, are we? And this is apparently the game's way of giving the player the direction to look into every trash can in the park and discover a new word in this mysterious sentence while doing so. The sentence turns out to be, PAUSE! I need some of that D. Like, what the hell is this game? 
genuinely what the hell is this game it turns out the d that they were referring to was vitamin d for some unknown reason you sit in a random chair and look at flowers because uh, i don't know the, the game has lost all meaning at this point random crap like this just seems to happen with no rhyme or reason skipping a little bit past this park segment you are forced to go back into the black fog where Vinny has a bit of dialogue that doesn't seem important and you're sent to outer space with a slot machine or something i, I don't know Honestly, none of what happens after this matters until a dialogue between Vinny and Anthony 30 minutes later occurs. I never actually said she's my daughter. I was protecting her from you. Mm -hmm. The reason why I kept keeping you away from her was because you were gonna fuck your own sister. What? It's not unusual to be alone. Anthony, I tried telling you earlier. Ma'am, honey, the dean called. Why did you in college? What? Oh, man. Then he explains to Anthony that he drugged him in order for him not to sleep with his own sister. This game is so frustrating because you could see the cusp of something so great. So many genuinely good concepts are being buried under a bunch of poor ideas. A game about playing through a complete drug trip while the player is completely unaware until the end sounds great on paper, but the way they execute it was quite frankly disappointing, especially when given the fact that the voice acting and graphics are so great and the dialogue is consistently funny. I would love to see this game rewritten and given a fresh coat of paint, but I'm sure that's very unlikely seeing how this game is almost a decade old at this point. What I would add is more small hints to the player that it's a drug trip and events that wouldn't make you sense that it is a drug trip until the end. Public reception of the game is consistently poor with people sharing many of my gripes with the indie title. To sum everything up, only if has great graphics, interesting ideas that are mixed in with really awful ones. The voice acting is always on point, very charismatic, and you could feel a lot of the emotion coming from every actor. Every actor did a great job. The puzzles and a lot of the action was actually really good. As always, thank you for watching. Much peace and love towards your grandmother, and have a great day.